Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much to Sabina and to Women in Mining for the opportunity to speak today. Um, unlike uh, your industry, I'm in a highly feminised industry. My background is in education and the community sector. Uh, my staff here in WA is 90% female, and uh, I'm the 10%, <laughs> a few others. Um, look, um, uh, my name's Greg Ryan Gamston. I'm the general manager of the Smith family here in WA. It's a national children's charity, uh, independent charity, not aligned to uh, either any church or any political group, which is very handy at the moment. Um, we certainly, part of our role is to advocate for those who can't speak for themselves. We support disadvantaged children and young people. We're the largest charity in Australia dedicated in this space, and we do it through supporting disadvantaged kids' education, and we certainly involve their families. Uh, many feel that they're doing it tough, uh, and uh, it's certainly been challenging the last few years with GFC and so forth, even here in Australia and even here in Western Australia. But believe me, there's many out there who are doing it even tougher. This morning, 605,000 kids woke up in Australia in a house that neither parent works. So fortunately, we have lots of caring businesses and individuals who help support the work that we do to make a difference to each of those children, to break that cycle such that they are brought up in a house where they are working, are paying taxes, uh, and are contributing to the community. I can talk more, but I would rather one of our students as a case study uh, to showcase to you. So we have a short five minute video, thank you. My name is Tara and I study film, television and new media production at university. I'm a very competitive person, so it was always just I'm going to be the best, <laughs> take over the world, but never knew exactly how. <laughs> In year 11 and 12, I did drama and film and television, and I found that that was the subjects that I most enjoyed. I just get lost in the, in the whole world of it, and I love it. When it came to uh, QTAC, I applied to study uh, my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Film, Television and New Media Production, and uh, thanks to the Smith family, I got in. I went into the course with the aspirations of being a videographer for bands because I love concerts and I love music. I've grown up around music. I've played instruments. It's probably one of the main things that makes me happy. So I'd like to do that. Either that or just somewhere in directing because I like to visualise things and see them come out and have control of it and be creative. I knew that I had help there because I would always, uh, I would always write to my sponsor. That was a pretty regular occurrence because we loved mail. I guess I just knew that there was someone there helping us financially. I didn't really know too much about the organisation itself. I guess when it got to high school, I really appreciated it more once, um, once I started using the facilities a bit more. I went on a camp with them and I started to understand how hard we were doing it and how much it helped just to have that little bit of extra help there and support there. My mum grew up um, in a family where it wasn't very stable, so she was constantly moving between schools, between her mum's house, her dad's house, her grandma's house, or um, not having a home at all. Because of that and having to change schools, she thought that we would start at one school and we would finish at that school because she really values education today and thinks that to give yourself the best opportunity in life and head start to life, education is the way. My friendship groups at school have always been amazing. I've always surrounded myself with good people, but I guess trying to um, keep up with what everyone else is doing was really hard. So having the Smith family there, at least in one aspect of our life, helping us with something, it kind of it kind of kept up with it and made it a lot easier to try and fit in and, and mingle with them. When I reached year 11, I went through a bit of a tough time at home. Um, we had a few little personal dramas. And um, so I wasn't really my normal bubbly and happy self and a few of my close friends finally found out that my life isn't perfect like I portray. The camp happened around the same time as um, when I went to my little dark spot when the, when the dramas happened and so I went on the I camp with the Smith family to QUT for three days and there was about ten of us Smith family kids and it was the first time I'd ever got to meet 
other people with the Smith family other than myself and my sister. So I got to um, I got to share stories with them and hear about their stories and their lives, and it kind of it helped me because it made me feel like I wasn't alone. That um, we all have a story. We we're all not perfect. Um, so it was really influential three days of my life because I finally found people that I could relate to. At the start of the year I went to a uh, Smith Family Executive Luncheon and uh, I met some, some good people and uh, one of the people from the Smith Family uh, said after I did my speech was like, oh yeah, I know a guy that runs an ambassador program up at the university and I think you'd be great for the job. So about a week later I went in for an interview and um, got the job as a Explore Uni ambassador to go to schools or and go on camps, bring people around the uni and let them know that anyone can go to university, uh, share my story with them and hopefully inspire them to achieve the best in life because that's what I'm doing. Finally getting to meet people within the Smith family, it's, I guess it's given me a bit more confidence to know that, um, that not everyone's lives are perfect, that what I'm going through, it's not the same as what everyone else is, or what I've, what's, what I've done isn't the same as everyone else, but it's made me me, and, and I'm proud in, in who I am today, and I think that all the lessons I've learned in life have, have helped and meeting other people who have done that too and seeing how strong they are and how well that they're doing as well kind of makes things a lot easier knowing that. Thanks very much. Uh, we're currently supporting 33,000 kids across the country but if there's 605,000 kids in houses without uh, parents working, there's an awful lot more work to do. Um, we'd like to invite you to support the Fifth uh, Smith family, and if you're moved by these really positive stories, uh, the kids are three times more likely to go on to university in TAFE without support than without. We've got a booth, so at Morning Tea, come and talk to us. There's lots of ways you can get involved, and one of those ways is sponsoring a child. Uh, for the uh, two cups of coffee a week, you can really change someone's life. Thank you. Thank you.